Tommy Roberts. Welcome back to the Mayor's Table. My guest this morning is Corey Styron, who is the Director of the Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Affairs Department at the City of Farmington. Corey, it's good to have you back again. Thank you, Mayor. Glad to be here. Corey, we're going to start another season of outdoor theater here on Thursday. And um, it's, a, uh, it's an event that is very much looked forward to by people in the community. I think over the years we've seen a a growing allegiance to outdoor theater, and it's not uh, only something that our local citizens enjoy, but it's something that is a draw to our community from the outside. Uh, so I'm excited about it. Uh, I want you to tell us a little bit about the program this year. Well, um, let's go back and do a little history. This is the 29th year that we've done this in this community. Uh, the first 20 years were primarily two shows, um, the Anasazi, the Ancient Ones, and um, the Black River Traders. And over the past 10 or 15 years, we've started to go with some more of the mainstream shows. And we're really happy to bring Shrek the Musical to town this year. Shrek the Musical. First uh, reaction is that it seems like a, uh, an odd uh, subject matter for an outdoor theater. It seems that it might not be so easily adapted to the outdoors. But... I know there's a way to do anything, and, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing the production. Uh, how's it working out? Uh, well, so far, so good. Um, you know, you, you talk about Shrek outdoor. Shrek is an outdoor person. He lives in a meadow, uh, actually at the edge of a swamp. Uh, he's got a sidekick donkey that has some really great adventures, and like all great ogres, he falls in love in the end, and everything's great. So being an outdoor guy, he fits right into Farmington. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And I know that there's been a lot of talk about uh, this particular subject mat matter for the show. And a lot of people are looking forward to it very much. It's not uh, just starting up, though. I mean, it's, uh, it's been a process, and uh, you start with selecting the show, and then you've got to find the uh, actors and actresses and the singers and the dancers to portray the different parts uh, in the show. So when did we begin the auditioning part of this? Well, the auditioning started in January, but we started thinking about the show and working with our uh, director to pick a show back in December. They had auditions in January and February. And um, this is one of the first years in several years where we've actually had children actors as part of the part of the production. So it's pretty exciting this year. We think there'll be something that the entire family loves. Uh, Shrek, the, the original movie, was a huge hit, and we think it'll, it'll play well here in Farmington. Has it been a challenge to create the, the props for the set uh, for this pr program? Has it been any more of a challenge than with any other of the uh, productions that we've done in the past? Um, you know, we're really blessed in this community. We have a lot of great artists, a great talented people, and uh, a lot of these, these folks in our community, you just tell them this is kind of what I want and they astound you. So we have a great supporting cast of prop masters, costume designers. I really didn't think the costume designer could outdo what they did a couple of years ago when we did Beauty and the Beast. Uh, but they've got some fabulous costumes again. And again, we just have some talented people in our community and area that just help pull us off with great expectations. Let's talk about the schedule of shows. Uh, the first public showing is Thursday night. How frequently are the shows uh, done? The shows are done Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night out at Lions Wilderness Theater. Um, that we do have a caterer on site, so you can come out and make an evening of it and have dinner and watch the great show under the under the stars at beautiful Amphitheater. When will the last show be? Uh, the last show this year is going to be July the 29th. Um, it'll kind of coincide with the kickoff of Connie Mack. So if anybody that's coming in from out of town or you know people here that are coming in town, this would be a great thing to add to your to-do list here in Farmington. We have a private foundation that's been in existence for a number of years that helps with the fundraising to put on the production each summer. Uh, but it's a partnership between the city, the foundation, uh, the, the private sector. Can you talk a little bit about that partnership? Um, the Anasazi Foundation has been a huge supporter for many, many years. In fact, they um, were one of the original groups that put on the production. And over the years, the city's taken a larger and larger role. Uh, they still contribute, um, not only financially, but with their time and effort as being ushers and helping with the actors to celebrate their successes here. So it's a great partnership, and we appreciate everything the Anasazi Foundation has done to keep 
community theater here in Farmington. What are the costs of putting on this production? Um, depending on the show, over the past few years, it runs between one hundred and fifty and two hundred thousand um, dollars. We think it's worthwhile because it does create another cultural event in our community, and it does, like you said earlier, bring people from out of town. They spend the night, enjoy the show, and uh, spend a few more dollars in town. It's a quality of life uh, event, in my opinion. It's something that uh, our own citizens take advantage of, and the citizens of the surrounding communities. But we do know that. People come from farther places away, and, and they come for the specific purpose of, of watching this production, and they come back summer after summer. So we know that, that we've got uh, quality production, and, uh, and we look forward to making that available to our own citizens, but as well to those who come from out of town. If we get heads in beds, that's a plus. If we get people coming in and with their money, spending their money in our community for um, uh, meals and entertainment, that's another plus. So it's all a, a component part of our economic development effort and it's one that we value a great deal. Do our actors and actresses uh, receive remuneration for their, their uh, performances? All the roles are, are paid roles. Mm -hmm. um, it's based on, our, on a scale that's set up through our human resource department. Um, so everybody, everybody has an open casting call and we try to Try to get them in and get them out, and they have fun. I know that um, having um, seen the last seven or eight summer productions, I, I see some familiar faces uh, in the uh, cast. Uh, is it uh, common that we get people coming back wanting uh, new roles in the new production? Uh, we actually have quite a good following that, that love to come out and, and have a a summer experience here in Farmington as far as in actors. In fact, we had um, one of our, our local residents uh, came out three years ago for the first time and was, was really enthralled with the idea of outdoor theater and they actually uh, got a coach. Uh, they worked on and had a bit part their, their second year, they got a bit part and then they actually had a lead role last year. Right. Morticia mm -hmm. was one of our local residents that got the acting bug from going to Sandstone. So it was really exciting to see somebody that became a, from an audience member to an, uh, a really prominent role in the production. So it's really exciting. Historically, there's been a children's um, production as well held in conjunction with our summer outdoor theater. Can you talk a bit about that as well? Uh, yeah, we have the Heather McGoy's uh, Children's Theater. Um, it's, a, it's a theater production that kind of came out of something tragic. Um, Heather McGoy was an actor here in 2005 and she was killed in a tragic accident up on 20th Street. Her, her family really wanted to leave a legacy for her because she was such a vibrant, uh, youth-oriented person. And uh, they set up a foundation and helped us start Heather McGoy's Children's Theater, which has been in inception since 2006. Uh, we have between 35, well, we have about 100 children that participate in this program every year. Uh, they spend four weeks with us at a camp out at Lions Wilderness, and then they actually do a production at the end of it. Um, it's really fun. This year they're doing Annie Jr. Mm -hmm. um, classes started uh, June 2nd. So they're, they're already in full bloom, and it's kind of fun to watch those, those groups. And a, and a sidebar from that is we also were now able, um, because some of those kids have gone through the program, as we kind of had a gap with the teenagers. So now we've, uh, in Heather McGoy's name, we've started the Teen Voices program, which is a little more robust program for the teens that they actually get a chance to look at set design and choreography, and they really become the entire crew for their production, just not the actors and actresses. So if somebody has a desire to be a set developer or a lighting designer, they get to experience all those things as well and do a production, and this year they're doing a Sousa Cole Jr. I think it's a great um, program and it's a great effort to provide an opportunity for young people, uh, both preteen and teens. Probably not a lot of opportunities in a small community uh, provided uh, to, to kids who have a desire and an aptitude for performing in that way. And um, it could be acting, singing. Uh, and I, so I think it's great that uh, the City of Farmington is participating in a program that that gives a little bit greater opportunity for those kids to, uh, to test their skills and to try out their skills. So my uh, congratulations to the department and uh, all the private sector who've worked with the city to provide those opportunities.
let's close this segment out by talking about uh, how people get tickets and what the cost of those tickets are. Well, you can get your tickets multiple ways. The easiest one is you can go online uh, to the Civic Center webpage and you can purchase your tickets right there and you can actually print them at home this year. Great. Right. Um, or you can go in person to the um, Civic Center and purchase them there. Mm -hmm. Or you can actually purchase them at the gate night of the show. Uh, tickets are $12 for adults, uh, $8 for students, and $7 for children under 12. We do have group, group rates if you're interested. What are your expectations for attendance this year? You know, I think because Shrek's such an outdoor guy, he's going to fit in right at home in Farmington. Um, everybody knows Donkey and, and Shrek and Fiona. Uh, some of their, their songs, people hear them in their heads all the time now. So I think it'd be well received. It's something uh, the family, um, the entire family can enjoy. And uh, you just can't beat a beautiful evening at Lions Wilderness with the sun setting, watching some fun shows in our great amphitheater. Every so often I hear somebody complaining that there's not enough to do in Farmington. And when I hear that, I just have to shake my head and roll my eyes because there is an awful lot to do in the city of Farmington. This is just another example of that. Something I look forward to every year. Cindy and I enjoy going out. Generally, we'll go see the show twice at least. And, uh, and if we have people in town, we want to take them out. They enjoy it as well. So my congratulations to everyone who who uh, is responsible for this production, from uh, you to your staff. Uh, Lisa Hutchins um, is, uh, takes on a great amount of that responsibility, but there are others as well, and we want to thank all of them for their efforts. Corey, thank you for being with me today. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we close? Just come on out, see Shrek, have a great time in Farmington. We want to thank all of you for joining us here this morning on the Mayor's Table. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you out at the Outdoor Theater, and we'll look forward to seeing you again next Monday.